morning. This is Sally with Agility Health, and we have Leon here. Hello, Leon. Hello. Leon, tell us a little bit about you and your role. Yes, I'm a Senior Vice President at IAL and also a Chief Agility Officer. And um, we're pleased to be invited to this conversation. Yes, um, Leon has an exciting story to share. As all of you know, most of Agile adoption happens within IT and within the technology. But Leon was able to bring Agile and Scrum to the sales department. So Leon, can you share just a little bit about why? What was the problem you were trying to solve? And why did you want to bring agility to sales? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, first of all, it's, it's not the first thing you, you think about uh, when you implement Agile, right? Sales. But we at IAL, we always want to improve. Even though we had, uh, got very good performance, at the time, we wanted to get better. So we started to think about how we can get even better of what we are doing on our sales area. So we looked to some uh, options and Agile was a very intriguing idea. So we started to analyze, we actually invited uh, Agile Transformation with Sally here to help us to give us some guidance on uh, what should we do and what's the benefit to go there. And we were convinced I had, it took me only one hour with our CEO to get on board and see all the benefits that we got implementing Agile. And um, actually we uh, decided to implement Scrum, one of the Agile methods, uh, on our sales team. Very unique, I think, but uh, working pretty well. Excellent, so can you tell us a little bit about the journey? Um, first of all, what's the size of the sales team and how many teams did you have? And how did you bring them on board so that they have buy-in to do Agile? Yeah, so we started, uh, we, we had a few uh, challenges to go through, right? So the first one is how we're gonna break down our sales team into teams. And because we have uh, people around the globe, we don't have co-located teams. So that was the first challenge. How, how are we gonna break them down? So we actually broke them down by regions to allow um, the time zone to be more effective. So we have uh, offices in Europe, Middle East, Asia, we have in the Americas. So we broke down by time zones. Today we have seven teams and all those teams, they meet using uh, or Adobe Connect or GoToMeeting. Using a webcam, that's very important for us, was to use the webcam since we cannot see each other face to face, right? I'm and a huge advocate for video. Exactly. Yep. And, and that worked pretty well. Uh, we actually, uh, as the time passed, we found that people that were not using the uh, webcam for some reason, we said, well, you, you have, we, we want to see you, mm -hmm. right? And that makes a big difference for us. And another thing that is how we're going to, since we didn't have post-its, real post-its and a wall, yep. so we decided to go with Trello, yep. which is a very simple tool, but allows us to get and move the to-do, doing, done, get the impediments. So every and team has their own Trello board? Every team has the Trello board. Our CEO has access to all of them. The product owners and the scrum masters can also navigate to the other boards so they can see what they're doing and learn with that. We got some very interesting uh, benefits. Uh, it's very hard for you to compare the sales performance by itself, but when we compare with last year, we got improvement, like 20, 25% improvement on our sales, which is pretty significant. That is very good. But we had other benefits like um, dealing with impediments. Before we implemented Agile, what happened is that every single individual, every single salesperson was uh, sharing issues and challenges and et cetera on an individual basis. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine uh, uh, over close to 100 people around the globe sharing issues individually and now we have seven teams and sharing their impediments. Mm -hmm. So that was a huge benefit. First is the impediments were visible, so the transparency aspect of it. Our CEO was able to look to those and help us when we were not able to solve those impediments by ourselves. We could escalate to our CEO, which was able to understand the impediments I mean, and, and remove them. Mm -hmm. So that, that was a huge benefit right there. Other thing is the transparency, the lessons learned, the fact that we are meeting on a daily basis. So did you do the daily stand-up meetings? We had the daily stand-up meetings. Uh, we have one scrum of scrums, so we have all the seven teams with the CEO uh, are listening. Uh, she, act she listens actively. She proposes some ideas, but the decision, and that's something that's really nice about uh, Agile and Scrum, is uh, 
before that, most a lot of the uh, of the salespeople they were told how to do things. Yes. The moment that you empower the team and you don't have a manager, you don't have, but the team decides how they're going to do things. So they start to self-organize. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The self-organization, deciding how to do things. The only thing that the CEO or chief product owner pass to the product owners is here are the goals. So maybe one of the questions is how did you, how do you define goals for right. sales, right? So goals? of course we, we have sales targets. Yep. We have number of registrations to specific events, so we can quantify those goals. And we divided our um, sprints in a week sprint. So it's not like a month. We have weekly sprints where we have those goals, but we measure them on a monthly basis. So we have our scrum of scrums every week. And at the end of the month, we recap, we do the retrospective. So it's, it's working pretty well. That's awesome. Yeah. That is yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um, what would be some lessons learned or advice that you would give people that are thinking about this? Because I'm sure it wasn't as easy as you make it sound. Did you get any resistance? I mean, what were some big ahas that you had? Yeah, that, that's a good question. We, we, got, we got resistance. In every company, you're always going to have, the, especially on the sales aspect, the lonely wolves. Yes. The ones that, I, I don't want to work on a team. I'm okay with myself. So we have to I'm deal with... I'm a rock star. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, and not only... The, the, is a rock star because of the numbers, but just because of the nature of that individual work, yeah. who he or she doesn't want to share and et cetera. And we even had some resistance on a higher level, but through education, to going uh, 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 and, and letting those people attend Scrum Master product owner classes, having several meetings and discussing, listening to them, mm -hmm. trying to understand, we got most of them on board and some of them, unfortunately, once they are not on board and they become resistant, you, you don't have a lot of options, right? So we, we try to educate and et cetera. But today, I think our team is all on board and th those resistance uh, were eliminated. Another uh, challenge that we had is about the daily meetings at the beginning. It was daily very meetings. hard. It was very hard. Sales teams are not yeah, used to daily people, meetings. People were saying, well, those 15 minutes, we could sell more. And sell. Well, 15 minutes of time that you go in downstairs and grab a coffee, right? right. Or, or do something like that. So <laughs> we, we had, again, to, to show that uh, the, the 15 minutes is not the problem. What we found is that at the beginning, we implemented a very repetitive uh, daily scrum. And w again, we came back to the teams and uh, we noticed that they started to not to come to the meetings. So we asked them, why are you not coming? Right. And many of them share, we don't see value, it's kind of repetitive. So the way that we uh, resolved that, we did a survey and we asked them, what will make you come mm -hmm. to those meetings? I love it. Yeah. And uh, based on those responses, we adjusted. So every, sing uh, every daily meeting, we have a different purpose. Or we're talking about impediments or crazy ideas. We have a crazy idea day. So everybody puts out uh, any ideas, doesn't matter, no criticism, just put out so we can experiment, we can innovate. We have days where we just talk about the sales. Every single day, it's doesn't different. matter what. Yeah, it's, it's different. I love that. Even though the only constant is, how are we doing with our target? That's a product owner Monthly responsibility. Targets. Yes, yeah. that's a product owner responsibility, but that takes a few minutes. Gotcha. Everything else is about, okay, roadblocks, impediments. What can we do to improve? So those things are really uh, are working pretty well. That is awesome. Yeah. Congratulations on your yeah, success. Yeah, thank you. Thank and I what's, what's ahead? What's the, what's the next step for you for sales? Well, uh, sales, we are pretty much uh, ongoing. We already implemented marketing department. We implemented IT, uh, which is pretty much internal support for us. So we are looking forward to additional uh, uh, scale uh, agile within the organization for operations and other areas. So let's see. Let's see. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much.